What's going on YouTubers and Pokemon trainers around the globe? This your homie Poketuan here. Niantic just released new information on how you can receive an EX Pass. Do you know the details? Well look no further than Pokemon Go with yours truly, Poketuan. Alright y'all, so there is a major update about EX Passes and I know you all noticed the headband here, the Pikachu hanging out. There he is, y'all. There he is. Yes. New changes and new headgear all the time, y'all. You always got to switch it up. Let's jump right into the details, y'all. Let's go through this line by line. With the latest batch of EX Raid Battle invites, we've implemented a few changes to improve trainer and gym selection. Unfortunately, a bug was introduced. So this bug was actually what caused a bunch of Poke players to receive EX passes at gyms they had never been to or gyms way somewhere across the country. There were all sorts of crazy reports coming in. I can't tell you how many Poke players have messaged me and left comments saying, why am I getting a pass way over here in Singapore and I haven't been there in months? So, so apparently that bug is fixed, y'all. And Niantic says it right here. As you can see this text right here that I'm kind of highlighting. This bug has already been resolved. So that is a huge upside right there. Um, trainers will only receive an invitation if they've completed a raid battle at that gym recently. So I would say continue doing your raid battles like you normally do. Go from raid to raid and don't change your pattern, y'all. Just keep it the same. All right, so jump into the second paragraph. They said, we've also made a couple of changes that will impact the invitation process. This is big news, y'all. First, we've made changes to the way gyms are selected. While EX Raid Battles will continue to take place in parks and at sponsored locations, the number of gyms that meet the necessary criteria for an EX Raid Battle will increase. This is gigantic news, y'all. So this means that parks and sponsored locations are no longer the favorites for getting an EX Pass. Now, that is not to say that you shouldn't go to a Sprint store or a Starbucks store and do a raid there. I would highly suggest still doing that just because probability of getting an EX pass there is pretty high, I would still say. So this now means that they have opened up EX raid battles to be in other places besides sponsored locations. That is super legit, y'all. I mean, I'm telling you, there are so many awesome places where they have gyms at. Um, you've got Pier 23 here in San Francisco, um, Levi's Plaza. There is a bunch of gyms that aren't sponsored and I feel like would be perfect for an EX Pass. So definitely keep an eye out there, y'all. All right, so let's just scroll down here. And it looks like at the end of this paragraph, it says, additionally, the average number of trainers invited per gym will also rise as we have made a few tweaks to the way they are selected. That's super cool, y'all. That means that more people will have an opportunity to do an EX raid battle at any given time, meaning that when it's time for your raid battle, instead of there being a limit of, I believe it was 60 people, um, it might increase to 80 or possibly 100. Oh, look at that. Niantic already summed it up for me. Thanks to these two major changes, more trainers will have an opportunity to engage with the EX raid battle feature. Yes. Thank you so much, Niantic. All right, y'all, we're on the last paragraph, so bear with me. The quality of EX raid battles at these locations should also improve. To start, trainers with a higher level gym medal are now even more likely to receive an invitation for an EX raid battle at that location. Similarly, trainers who complete more raid battles at any location the week before the EX raid battle invitations are sent will now have a greater chance of being selected, y'all. That is huge news. Especially for those of you who do more than one raid a day, I can definitely attest to that. I did like six raids today. I did around like 10 yesterday. Um, so this is definitely gonna help us out a lot, y'all. I can't tell you how frustrated I get every morning when I wake up and I check my decks and I'm like, 
Look at that. No EX raid pass. I mean, y'all saw it. It took me 1,048 raids just to receive one EX pass. One. So hopefully this new update to EX raids will help out a lot. I am telling you, there are so many players who are frustrated because they've just done raid after raid and still haven't received anything. And then, of course, Niantic says thank you, and they really appreciate our feedback. And they apologize for any frustration the latest batch of invitations may cause. Um, I want to say sorry, y'all. I mean, I, I'm saying sorry for the game. I'm saying sorry for Niantic. Um, just because I love this game so, so much, y'all. And I look at myself as a huge proponent in hyping up the game. I love to run into trainers who are so into the game and even people who are a little bit curious and want to know more about Pokemon Go. And then lastly, they say, we're constantly monitoring feedback shared on various social media and support channels. So please continue to share your thoughts on your preferred channel as we continue to fine tune this feature. Now, if Poketuan has to give the Pokemon Go team some advice, I would just advise them to just make it a little easier for people to get EX passes. Don't have people going on a wild goose chase. In my opinion, it's not fair that the EX raid passes are handed out randomly. I think there should be a little more stipulation and more rules around how you can get an EX pass. I mean, that's really all the advice that I can think of right now. Just make it a little easier for us to get EX passes. I mean, there are people who spend money on this game. What, it's like a dollar a raid pass? So people are spending dollar after dollar after dollar and still haven't received an EX pass yet. I mean, I know some people who've done like 20, 30 raids and they've received like two EX passes and I've run into people who've done like 200 or 500 or maybe even a thousand like myself and haven't received one. So yes, I hope Niantic is definitely listening to the advice. But yeah, Poke players, that is basically it for this episode. Like I said, it's going to be real short. Just a quick update on what we have found on PokemonGoLive.com. You can easily just type this into your browser, PokemonGoLive.com. They've got an events page, which I'll click on now. There you go. So you've got the events page showing that, you know, community day is coming up. And that's basically all they have for that. Um, the updates page. So this is actually where I went to to find the latest information on EX Raid Passes. And then, of course, you can scroll down and check out all the different updates that Pokemon Go has released. So that's pretty cool. And then, of course, you've got your support tab right there. And that's if you have any issues with the game or you just wanted to find some articles uh, that can help you out. That is the update for today, y'all. Insane news. I hope it definitely motivates you to get out there and do more raids, catch some mons, and hopefully you'll wake up the next day and receive that much-wanted EX Pass. That's what it's all about, y'all, having the chance to battle Mewtwo. But yes, I've been rambling on a little too long. I've got to end this episode, throw it online so you all can see it. But of course, thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Pokemon Go with... Poke Twan, you know me, one of the biggest poke maniacs in town. Homie Poke Twan is out.